Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about a topic that majority of us deals with daily, which is anxiety. And this isn't just a fleeting feeling, but it is that constant low-grade hum in the background. So it is about those constant racing thoughts, about physical tensions in our body, and also that pervasive sense of constantly being on edge. And we all need anxiety in our life in order to achieve certain goals in our life, in order to arrive to work on time. But when anxiety becomes our default way of being, thinking and feeling, that obviously becomes problematic. And for the past two weeks, I've been using this little device that is claiming to help with anxiety and today this video is all about me giving you my honest opinion about this device whether it actually helps with anxiety or not so let's get started i also wanted to add that this video is sponsored and this device which is called neurosyn was sent to me by a company called parasim however every opinion in this video is 100 percent my and if I didn't feel that I could add something honest or valuable, I simply I wouldn't be making this video. Before we're gonna get into my personal results and opinions about this device, let's talk about the research that helps us to understand how this works. Have you ever heard about the parasympathetic nerve system? If not, don't worry, I will give you a brief introduction now. But if you would like to have a better understanding how this nerve system works, then I will encourage you to go and watch a few of my videos about post-traumatic stress disorder where I go in more detail explaining how this works. Think of it as your body's rest and digest mode. It is the counterbalance of your fight or flight response the most important component in this calming system is the vagus nerve. This nerve is essentially a major superhighway, a communication line connecting your brain to almost all your major organs, including your gut, your heart and even lungs. It's constantly monitoring and sending signals. An active healthy vagus nerve is like your body's internal break. It tells your heart rate to slow down, reduces inflammation and signals your body to calm down after stress. When it's underactive, your fight or flight response can get stuck on the on position, leading to the chronic anxiety and stress we all want to escape. The idea of stimulating this nerve is far from new and there is a vast fascinating body of research that explores the profound impact of vagus nerve stimulation. In mainstream medicine, vagus nerve stimulation has been used for decades. Doctors use surgically implanted electrical devices and invasive vagus nerve stimulation to help manage serious conditions like epilepsy and treatment-resistant depression. And it's also used in anesthesia to carefully regulate a patient's heart rate, acting as that critical break for the heart. And this is well-established, evidence-based medical practice. And also, if you would like to read more about it, then I'm gonna leave the references down below so you can empower yourself with the knowledge. But the science isn't limited to surgery. We have research telling us that the non-invasive techniques, they can work too. So for instance, the deep diaphragmatic breathing and also specific massage techniques, they can also stimulate this nerve to promote relaxation and helping us to regulate our emotions. The bottom line is that because of the vast research, we are confident that stimulating vagus nerve can significantly impact how we feel emotionally and how our body responds to stress. So the real question is whether this non-invasive, user-friendly, at-home device can help us to achieve this effect.
With that background, with having a good understanding what Vegas nerve stimulation does to us, I've agreed to participate in two weeks trial. And my single goal was to see whether using this device can help me to reduce my day-to-day -day anxiety and stress. This device is quite small, um, quite lightweight. It comes also with that earpiece that we need to place on our left ear on the outer part and that is connected to the branch of the vagus nerve and uh, yes I've been using it for two weeks now every day for about 20 to 30 minutes and there's also setting where you need to adjust the the strength of the stimulation for yourself so you might start feeling like a non-painful uh, tingling and yeah it comes also with a charger with this little pouch the charging just lasts forever and also I've been using it mainly in the evening maybe when I was reading a book or maybe when I was doing my editing when the kids they were asleep and I guess the only complaint that I might have about it is that it just doesn't come with an eclipse so you can't really attach it to your clothes. So maybe walking around with it might not be ideal, and at least if you have a pocket. But yeah, for me that wasn't a problem because like I said, I would use it when I'm reading or maybe doing some editing so it can easily just lie next to me. The most immediate change that I've noticed around day four or five is calmness. And it's not that the anxiety was erased because we still need a good amount of healthy anxiety in our life to function, but it feels that the volume was turned down on that constant nerves hum. So my mind feels clearer, is less clutter with worries. And then because of that, I feel more present, specifically in interactions with my kids. What was my biggest surprise was that my resilience increased. So normally in situations, uh, Again, day-to-day -day simple situations, something happens and my mind can easily spiral into some worries and negative thinking. And very often I don't even notice that because I'm so used to and I just like live in that way. And then later in the day, I just regulate my, myself in, in, in one or the other way. Maybe talking to someone, maybe eating something or maybe going to the gym, maybe going for a swim, right? But... Since I started using this device, there was a few situations where I tangibly, I was able to actually realize like, wow, hold on, there's something different happening. And um, the first instance that um, this happened, it was when my train was getting late for work. And obviously normally my mind would just spiral. I would feel really anxious, worrying that something will happen, that I would be told off, even though that never happened really. And now since I started using your theme, I've actually realized that I was able to pose myself and think like, no, nothing's going to happen. I'm not going to get told off. When was the last time I was told off? And then because of that, I was able to prevent the anxiety from spiraling. And then I had this sense of, you know, feeling calm and relaxed, even though I, I got late to work. So that was actually a really nice surprise and that I had after using this device because I was not really expecting that. Unexpected bonus of using this device for me, it is also that my psoriasis improved. Normally I link the flare-ups of my psoriasis with increased stress. And since I haven't changed anything in the protocol of using the medication, I haven't really changed with my diet in the past two weeks, it is actually possible that this device helps with decreasing inflammation on my skin. So I'm very curious about what's going to happen if I'm going to be using it for prolonged periods of time. So yes, I can't wait for using it for longer and seeing what it does to my skin. And also, if you would like to hear more about it in context of my skin, then let me know. So maybe I can do a follow up after, you know, using it for two months, for instance. So generally, I would consider myself as a good sleeper. I can easily sleep my eight hours. But since I started using the NeuroSim, I definitely noticed 
a shift in the quality of my sleep. So I've noticed that I sleep deeper and then when I wake up in the morning, I feel more rested and more refreshed. And then obviously throughout the day, I guess because of that, I feel more calmer. This wouldn't be an honest review without looking at the good and the bad. So let's have a look at them now. So first of all, the core benefit that I feel is that I genuinely feel a positive change in my emotional regulation. Secondly, a huge advantage of using this device is that it can be easily used at home. It is lightweight, it is discreet, and I can easily incorporate that into my daily routine. And lastly, it is the unexpected improvement in my skin quality that suggests the broader physical benefits. Unfortunately, this is the most significant hurdle. The neurosim is a financial investment which will be a barrier for many people. And secondly, as I mentioned before, this device doesn't have any clip. So when you're gonna be using it, most likely you're gonna have to sit down or maybe lie down. Or you can always keep it in your pocket if you have to move around. So is the Neurosim a magic wand? Definitely not. There's no single device, no single solution that can help us to erase anxiety or depression. But the purpose of this video is simply to give you my opinion after using this device only for two weeks. I strongly encourage you to do your own research. There's so much material online that we all have access to. And also talk to your healthcare professional. So it could be your GP, your psychiatrist and ask them for personalized advice. And also, if you're thinking about checking out this device, then I'm gonna leave the link below with affiliated code. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, then please like it, subscribe, and I'm gonna see you in the next one then. Thank you, bye-bye.